name is Oswald Dachaga. I work for the Ghana Health Service, which is uh, one of the biggest agencies under the Ministry of Health in Ghana. I've been working with DHIS uh, for the past 12 years, and one of the big implementation of DHIS uh, globally. And uh, it's quite exciting to be part of the DHIS community. And for Ghana, we use it as our national HMI system, and uh, that has basically the aggregate system, and we have in recent years also expanded our usage uh, largely on tracker and uh, it solved a lot of problems for us and uh, there is some acceptability countrywide that DHIS is the best solution for us and so what we are doing is to be able to use it a lot more to solve a lot of other problems apart from healthcare data and I think that it's, it's, it's a good uh, tool for us to use and it solved many problems that we would have had with other proprietary systems that we currently are getting it quite easier with DHI since it's great to be part of the DHIS community. Beyond uh, capturing healthcare data, we have recently been able to use uh, DHIS to manage transport. We are using it to be able to track vehicle usage and uh, setting up an, what we call an e-log to be able to track driver's usage of the vehicles that are within the service. We've uh, customized it to be able to track our implementation of chips and then we have also recently used it for monitoring and deployment of an assessment tool that is used by the Medical and Dental Council of Ghana to be able to follow up on the sort of training that house officers who have just left medical school are faring under the various teaching hospitals and that is some work that is going on. We also have some MOU that is currently ongoing between the Minister of Health and the Minister of Agri to be able to use DHIS in the agri sector and uh, we are having that strong collaboration between the Ghana Health Service and then the Minister of Agri to be able to do that work and a lot more uh, uh, collaborations we are doing beyond the healthcare system. Within the healthcare system, as I've mentioned, we've used Tracker uh, from its very early days, from 2018, 2016, there about. So our HIV and TB track, uh, TB uh, management is on Tracker. Our uh, what do you call it? COVID registry is on Tracker. Maternal and child health generally is on Tracker. And the recent good news is that uh, we are having a collaboration with the government of Ghana to be able to set up what is called an e-pregnancy system where we are having an integration between the MCA tracker and then the birth and death registry so that the Ghana Health Service then become a primary service provider that can give birth notifications and death notifications to the birth and death registry to be able to follow up to register new births and then also to issue death certificates for people who are passed on. We are also having that same layer integrated with the national uh, identification system so that if there is a new birth, a temporal ID can be issued by the national ID system up to a point where the child is grown enough to take biometrics, then they can capture the biometrics in addition. So there's a lot of work going on. It's still under development, but pretty soon it's going to be deployed and things will get a lot more interesting in that. Thank you.